So you can see it's really uh, not where we need to be. You and I can't run our households like this, and Washington can't either anymore. We need to change our ways. The balanced budget amendment, I believe, is the best solution to this. Um, and one good thing about last week's proposal, it is going to require a vote on the balanced budget amendment in Congress. So in the House and the Senate before uh, December, you're going to see a vote for the balanced budget amendment. I think this is the best hope to forcing Washington to live within its means. Having a hard time at home, uh, we cut expenses, or we pick up a little extra revenue. We get a little second job, or we do something. And right now, we got 9.2% unemployment. A lot of places in the 4th District is worse than that. Uh, we all probably know people that are hurting, looking for work. They can't find it. So we got to get people working again so they not only feel good about themselves, have to provide for their families, but we'll have more tax revenue coming into our government, too. So how do we get people working? Well, there's two schools of thought, and we, we may have different views on this. One view is for the government to try to create those jobs, like, like they did a stimulus package last year, and borrow more money from China, and then put that to specific down the economies of specific projects to try to, try to create jobs. Uh, you remember when President Obama pushed that, he promised that if Congress passed it, we wouldn't have an unemployment more than 8%. Well, never said that. you know, it's uh, gone we said that. 29 months that. now above you know, 9%. And so that hasn't worked. So the other theory, uh, idea, is to get more private sector jobs. And the way to do that is to talk to small business owners and say, and I have in the 4th District a lot, say, why aren't you hiring? What does Washington need to do to help you and your business so you go out and put more people to work? You know what they tell me? Get government off our backs. Leave us alone. So that's more what I'm going to try to do in the House is to push back on the things that are causing small business owners to not hire workers. One, regulation. There are way too many regulations that are stifling jobs. Here's a few examples. Uh, EPA is out of control. <laughs> they're, they're trying to regulate our greenhouse gases. Uh, I live out in the country on a gravel road. I always have. I we farm. And they're trying to regulate dust as if it's a hazardous waste. And, I mean, like, you can't do that. Uh, if you go down the gravel road, you're going to have dust. That sounds made up. So that's hurting jobs. We got uh, EPA cement regulations. Uh, Supposedly causing 80,000 jobs. They're trying to make fly, fly edge a hazardous material. Well, you know what that's going to do for our cement and for our roads and the cost? I mean, it's ridiculous. This hasn't been found to be hazardous. And uh, the moratorium on no drilling is costing 36,000 jobs at least in the Gulf. So let's move those regulations out. What we've been doing is passing some bills to try to push back on that. Uh, I co sponsored a bill called the Bulb Act which says basically let Americans use whatever kind of light bulb they want. Oh, <laughs> It's been 20 minutes. You've been 20 minutes, Representative Hart. Well, I can't be here. All right. We need to pass some trade agreements. That would help with manufacturing. How's that going to help us if there's nothing to trade? A way to reduce our gas prices. So there's some things we're doing. Bottom line, the debt crisis didn't happen overnight. We're not going to fix it overnight. But the point is, we need to start.
start now. We need to make some changes. So that's what we're trying to do. So there you go. And we're going to, uh, I want to hear your ideas. One time I said I would go here first, and then I'm going to go back there. Thank you for waiting and being patient. I appreciate you guys. Thanks, Sam. Hi, I have two questions. Talk yes. About what do you think about, what do you, you think? You can't have speak up so we can no, hear. Not, no, I'm repeating the question, so that's okay. okay. What, is, what is the essential function of government? <laughs> That you think that's number one. Number two is that you know I grew up in India. I became a citizen in 2007, and I think being an American is an idea, and it's an idea that you be kind to your neighbor and you take care of other people. So, what if you if we are so afraid of taxing people who are making millions of dollars and who are poor people, when I go to the Kansas City, work with the school, I see the poor neighbor. I don't know what you. How you fix it? Unless people are willing to contribute to the other people's well-being. You have a, a, yeah. a